Good evening, I'm Chris Thomas. Thanks for joining us. We start tonight with a community in mourning. An 18 year old Indercombe High School senior was killed Saturday night after being hit by a car. ABC 10's Becca Hopbecker is live tonight in Rockland and Becca, you had a chance to speak to his coach. Yes, Chris, it was an emotional conversation. I'm here at Youth Basketball Academy in Rockland, where Anthony Williams spent much of his free time over the better part of the last decade. This is where Coach Chris Collins became more than just a mentor, but also a father figure to Anthony Williams, who he describes as a bright light in this world. Anthony was a good kid. He had a light about him. Great big bright smile. Always wanted to joke around. Always wanted to have fun. Chris Collins coaches the highly competitive AAU basketball and says Anthony Williams was a hard worker and talented. He's a fierce competitor on the basketball court. He's a really, really good basketball player. What enormous potential. Anybody could tell you that when they saw him play. In addition to AAU basketball, Williams played for Whitney High School in Rockland before transferring to Intercom in Natomas for his senior year. But Williams was not always set up for success. He was a foster child. His parents died at a very young age. Coach Chris was a mentor, even for a time, Williams' foster dad. So learning about Williams' death hit Coach Chris hard. We talked. We literally talked that day. He died. Rockland police says the driver of the car that hit and killed Anthony at Lone Tree Boulevard and Adams Drive in Rockland Saturday evening is cooperating. And so far, there has been neither an arrest nor any charge in the incident. I believe it was just a really bad, tragic accident. My heart goes out to the driver, they have to live with that. So I feel bad for that person. On top of the empathy and sorrow and anger and everything else I feel for Anthony. He says Williams has forever changed him. And we always love a success story, you know? But unfortunately with him passing, we won't necessarily get to see that potential bear fruit. But his journey was one that I've learned from and hopefully if I run into a kid like that again, I, I can, do better for that kid through learning from my experiences with Anthony. You know, Intercom High School had grief counselors on hand today for the students. Meanwhile, there are two memorials being planned for Anthony Williams this weekend. One of them starts at 7 o'clock Saturday evening at Whitney Community Park here in Rockland. The other one is Sunday afternoon right here at Youth Basketball Academy in Rockland. That one starts at 3.30 p.m. on Sunday. And, Chris, both of these memorials are open to anyone who wants to come celebrate the life of Anthony Williams and mourn together. Becca, such a tragic story. Our thoughts were with the coach, the team, and the entire community tonight.